It's California Living. With Samantha Cortese. Sramdantha de Cortaliza. Samantha Cortino Jr. Sammy Lynn Corvette. Featuring Shrimpampa Cortese. And introducing Robert Malibu Bobby Puente. It's California Living. Today on California Living, so many people sent me a link to this home and it inspired today's theme. Let's take a look at Steve McQueen's house in Palm Springs. It is clearly a mid-century modern, or if you search the internet for homes as much as I do, an MCM, 1,850 Ooh. square feet. It's got four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it was built in 1960. The current owner is an architect who carefully added to the home and kept so much of its original charm that even the patio furniture is the same patio furniture used by Steve McQueen. The home was designed by architects, but McQueen, you can kind of see it out there. There's a pool. It's meant to be an indoor-outdoor living space, so lots of big patio sliding doors from the bedrooms. The pool is oversized, and it has a very special shape. It's in the shape of Mickey Mouse's head. See the ear there? It, no way. He says it allowed him to swim laps and enjoy the company of friends and family in intimate conversation. So what is the listing price of this home? Look wow. at it. Is that Jason Ball I see in there relaxing? <laughs> with, the hat, with the hat I with see the there? With the little hat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh man, I wish I could be as good as Jason Ball at guessing the prices of homes. Or I guess I wish I could cheat like Jason Ball did. <laughs> mm, this is tough because I'm not really familiar with Palm Springs prices, though I, I know they're not as expensive as LA, but this is a celebrity house and it's very beautiful. It seems like it'd be a lot uh, a lot of fun to live there. I want to say this is a $1.5 $1 million house. Okay, 1.5. We only have two guessers. Actually, Kevin... If he's in the room, I can't see. Is Kevin Kevin's, Kevin's here. in here? All right, Kevin can make That's a guess. That's beautiful. Interior. <laughs> this is Palm Springs. It's in the Racket Club Estates, where I used to live in a one-bedroom condo. Very fun, very cool, very relaxing. Oh, wow. 1.5 from, from Andy. How much? 1.5 says Andy. I love the interior. I love how simple and white the interior is. It's like, I, I feel like it'll be a little bright, like if the sun is uh, beaming in. Uh, I'm going to say it's uh, it's not that expensive, Andrew. I'm going to say 1.2. I don't think it'll be uh, up 1. there at 1.5. Okay. Kevin? I'm sorry. How big is this? <laughs> it's about 1,800 square feet. Uh, I'll go 1.6. Ooh. Ooh. Closest without going over. 1,850 square feet. And the answer is, this really inspired the rest of the, of the show today. So if you know this one, you might do pretty well. East Gray Circle, 1.495. Wow. Wait, so oh, he went over then? He went over. He went over. <laughs> <laughs> but with closing costs and taxes. Sure, yeah. That's yeah. fair. It's a good Dollar argument. It's a good argument. <laughs> <laughs> well, that inspired the theme, cool pools to host you and your fools. It is a gloomy day in Los Angeles today, but we are often the envy of those living in muddy spring seasons across the country. So we are going to continue today in one of the cities where bears like to take a dip to. This is Arcadia. See where it is up in the mountain there? You might see a bear or two in your cool pool. The current owner is an architect and, get this, formal creative director at Disney. So check out this contemporary compound. Four bedrooms, three baths, 2,655 square feet. It has vaulted ceilings, wow. multiple rooms leading to the patio and the pool. And I just could sit here and watch the slides of the interior design of this house for so it long. So awesome. This looks like I a rendering. It. It so does, much. Right? And I love that blue is so intense. What a cool, what a cool, warm and exciting and modern place. Jeez. Um, You're not a fan of that uh, chair? Are, oh, 
No, I mean, I'm just trying to think how much this could possibly be. Oh. Arcadia is a little less expensive than Pasadena, and we had a house similar to this. And I, I'm trying to remember how much that was, but that one was in Pasadena. And this, I think, especially being this sort of trendy redesign. But you're all the way in the mountains, buddy, so you got to keep that in mind as well. Well, also, was, there is a built-in like bar in the backyard. The landscaping was arranged to create a very secluded space. The realtor uses words like detailed, meticulous, chic when describing this property. And it really is. They say every square inch of the house has been thought uh, with purpose. It's been designed mm -hmm. with purpose, including, he says, even the plumbing and the fixtures. So how much for this house in Arcadia? $1.9 million for this. $1.9 for Mandy. $1.9, yeah. Uh, it's it's going to be high, but I think it's $1.9. <sighs> it's your Robert. I know. I'm, I'm still trying to process this. I, I would say 1.5 for this one because it's in Arcadia. It's out there. You know, it's not too close to L.A. And everything's in L.A. Uh, everyone has to commute to L.A. So that it's commute's going to... Where? Where? It's in L.A. County. But it's not by the city, friend. Uh, it's a little drive from the city. Um, it's not by the city, friend. I also feel like I wonder in a couple of years if it will feel weird to live in a house modeled after a startup from the west side. You yeah. Know? <laughs> like, it, it's a little bit... Like reminds me of when I used to work at full screen. It looks very similar to that aesthetic, which is cool. But I don't know. Yeah. Four bed, three bath. Kevin, 12, what do you think? Six twenty five. What is it? Two thousand six hundred fifty five square feet. That's such a big house. It's got to be two mil. Kevin. One point eight. One point eight. One point eight. He says. You don't care, everybody. All Let's right. Let's see. On Canyon Road in Arcadia, California, 1.898. Did you cheat, Just Kevin? Under. Kevin? Yeah, Kevin. I've been cheating this whole time, but I finally just said that. He's, he, ha he has a look. He's looking at the same screen I am, so clearly we're You're both, both cheating. cheaters. No. Uh, Andy. Much better at it than you are, though. I think so, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go visit our friend John in the Fox 5 morning news viewing area. This yeah. is a home in Fallbrook, California, and the best way to describe it to outsiders, you can see the map here, sort of near Temecula, sort of near Oceanside. Oh Andy, God. this one's obviously for you. What? It's a massive garage. What? And they're all Porsches. They're all air-cooled Porsches. It's a Porsche oh barn. Yep. Oh my God. It's an 11-acre compound, and in addition to a <laughs> cool pool, a one-of-a-kind 40-car oh, barn. That is a beautiful pool. With a car lift and a mezzanine level to display your favorite. The home is mid-century inspired. It is <laughs> oh, a single it. story, 5,600 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. There are views in every room, vaulted ceilings throughout the house. The property is powered by solar panels that are owned, so you're not going to take over someone's lease and it has a Tesla power wall. The lot is splittable if you wish, and Andy, if you wanna go creep on the cars, the car barn is only being shown to people who have an accepted offer. <gasps> well, that makes sense. Yep, so how much? Because there are a lot of really super rare, expensive Porsches in there, and I'm kinda, there is a world in which there's enough nice Porsches in that barn that they might be worth more than this probably very expensive house. Um, I, love I the do pool. love it's probably my favorite got pool. a bunch of old internal combustion engine vehicles and that the house, though, is powered by the sun. That's a neat little trick. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say this is four four million dollars because I'm just going to throw it out there. Look at this place. Look at this. This has Andy written all over it. Porsche everywhere. It's a logo. I mean, look at this. OK, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my God. There's so many. There's so many, there's so many neat, oh, there's 930, oh my God. That's a cool speedster. This is really, this is quite a collection too. I do love the juxtaposition of a car that is insanely fast next to a bicycle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably one of those dumb Porsche bicycles. Porsche like makes all kinds of stuff that's not actual cars that they just put their name on that they charge like a billion dollars for. It's like the thing that like you fear rich people will do with their money. You could buy like a phone case for a thousand dollars that says Porsche on it. It sounds like Supreme a little bit. Like, yeah, a little yeah, bit. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> if only Supreme actually, you know, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> I guess they do make bricks. They do, yes, that's true. Are you calling Porsches bricks? 
You could build oh, a brick no, no, house no. of Supreme. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, so Andrew says one, uh, four million. Yep. I'm gonna top him a little bit. and say four point five. I think it's a little more pricey. Wow, than that. you guys don't. are getting top. really me. <laughs> oh God. Kevin, <laughs> save us, please. Uh, five and a half. Please, five sir. and a half. Five Milk. and a half. Please, five don't and a half. That. So four point yeah, five, oh, yeah. four, and five point five. All right, let's see the answer. All right. A secluded stunner in Southern California. If you want to drive from Fallbrook. You would have to pay only $2.4 million. For that dollars. crazy garage? You all went super over. Fallbrook is kind of in the middle of nowhere, San Diego County. Yeah. I, maybe Riverside County. I don't know. But uh, when I tell my family and friends, like, oh, there's a there's a grove of wine, uh, of Malbec, you know, grapes for sale in Fallbrook. They're like, yeah, you want to drive to Fallbrook? I'm like, oh, yeah, that's true. What's the drive? What, what is it? Like, a, like two and a half hours, probably. Two and a half hour yeah, drive? Know. Wow. At least. Cool, uh, cool 70s Porsche probably wouldn't be that bad. Actually, it would be a terrible trip because those cars don't do great in traffic and it would be hot and it would be smelly. Uh, but man, I bet you that those cars, the cars in that, the, in the in the photo alone are probably worth more than what that house is selling for. Yes. That probably. is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Wow, neat. So last one, last one. We're going to the Valley. This is another compound. The name is Kencrest, dubbed by the family who lived there for 15 years and is finally moving on. It's a gated lot in Glendale Hills. The grounds total 41,500 square feet, five bedrooms, six bathrooms. You know I love a good mid-century modern door, something with the windows shapes so on it, right? Yeah, the windows are great. It's a 1957 ranch style home with indoor outdoor uh -huh. living in mind. The trees are mature and offer privacy to the pool, the spa, an outdoor grilling station. There are city views from the house and it's a convenient corner lot close to the studios, Robert. So you're not driving as far as Arcadia, mm -hmm. but check out this water feature and la like, it looks like an Olympic sized lap pool. It's not technically, but it's very large. How much for this home in Glendale, California? You said it's close to the studios, so it's it's Glendale, in that, but it's, it's like Glendale. Burbank, Glendale, right? It's like closer to the Burbank side of Glendale, or is it? Nah. This is important. <laughs> you're is right. Important. It is important. You can see it on the map if you're so interested. It's the first thing. Oh, okay. Uh, but my my point in saying it's close to the studios was uh, because I knew uh, that might have an impact on the price. I'm not mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm specifically where you should get on the freeway and the 134 to get to Disney Animation Studios, but. So this is, that means it's expensive and uh, it's obviously a beautiful house. The other thing is that even if it is a large outlay of cash, I feel like you'll be able to uh, rent it out for room and board um, photo shoots. The, yes. The store room board, not room and board. Yes. Thank you for that clarification. College. Um, but. <sighs> God, I don't know. Glendale, Glendale's an enigma because sometimes you'll look and think and you say, how can that be so expensive or how can that be so inexpensive? But because it's kind of in that Burbank, La Cunada, Flint Ridge realm, and it's so beautiful, this has got to be a two and a half million dollar house. All right. Uh, Kevin was really interested, but he had to step out for an emergency. He was like, where is it? He said, he wrote me a little map. He's like, where? Where is it? And I was like, it's Glendale, <laughs> dude. Uh, I will say uh, three million. Three million. Three million. I want to get Kevin back in, but his girls can't connect YouTube to the TV. That's right. That's right. So <laughs> they are calling. It's Dad an emergency too. To figure what, it out. What awful thing did Kevin do in a past life that now his waking every waking moment at both work? Yes. <laughs> and, is dealing with children trying to connect electronics to other things. <laughs> to stream on the internet. I don't know. <laughs> God, sorry, but here Kevin. we go. The answer to our final home in today's California living with cool pools. This is in Glendale, California on West Kenneth Road. And the listing price is 3.999. I said, what did I say? I forgot. I said four. Well, that would be over. That would be over. But like, oh, remember Andrew, Andrew's rules. Angie's rules. Um, Angie's rules. <laughs> Angie's list. Closing, clo closing costs or uh, taxes and all that. <laughs> sure. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, okay, points so don't matter. And that's your California living for this Thursday. Wow, that was awesome, I love Sam. It. Yeah. I love those houses. Those are like every single one of those houses were really cool. And I can't right. believe that someone has built uh, an amount.